Hello everybody. Welcome to Monique's Jewels. I'm so glad you're here. Um, I have a request that everybody goes and likes the video um, when they first come in to watch. That way it just um, gets the channel some much needed exposure and um, we can get more subscribers that way and watchers and it just really helps my channel quite a bit. Um, you can always comment below and let me know how you're doing, um, what you think of the jewelry that I'm showing. Um, in this video, I am going to price things, and you can comment in the comments select section down below if you would like to purchase. It's always first person to comment gets, the, gets to purchase. Um, I very seldom have people to... Um, voice that they would like something and then they not get it that doesn't happen very often with me so let's just go ahead and start trying to finish up on this beautiful box that i got from lake worth lake worth florida it is a uh, goodwill blue box there was two i bought two and i have already showed the sterling that was in these two boxes and it was in my last video and there are still some pieces that are available, so you can check with me through email. And um, I'm not going to go on there and say what's sold and what isn't, but um, when we do it this way where we comment below and everything, usually when I like your comment and put a heart there, that means I know that you've purchased it and I'm getting it together. I will always let you know if someone else has spoken for it before you. So you won't be hanging on thinking I'm either bundling something for you or sending it to you. You know, getting ready to send you an invoice. So that won't happen. I'll always get a hold of you. So let's go ahead and finish up on part of this. I actually <laughs> forgot that I have a box full of like cute little earrings and stuff that are from this group that I put over here to go through and I went through it and it's got some really cute stuff so if nothing else I'll save this little part because that's about 15 minutes right here in this box with my next blue boxes that I get next week if that's all right with you guys so I do have some stone some semi-precious stone and some pearls, a lot. Um, I have an older blue box here. I have, um, let me think here. I've got box jewelry to show you. I've got some, I've just got, I've got a lot of stuff. So we'll just start on this and not worry about that so much. Okay, I wanted to show you, I had um, turned these into pendants. And I think I'm just going to keep them because if <laughs> they fall off or something. What I did was just took the hook. And this needs to be polished. It is silver like this. But I took the actual earring back, the post, and just twisted it. Um, yeah. So you can see it there. And then your um, little piece will go through. I mean, your necklace will go through there let me see if i've got something to put through there real quick yeah i got something right here um now this is probably too big Did it go on it? yeah this is too big but it'll go through it right there and then your pendant will just lay just like that just like anyway just like that and then, this is the one that has the Herkimer. This Herkimer diamond is not a diamond per se. It is a stone that's only found in Herkimer, New York. And it is usually always rough cut like this. And it shows off its brilliance that way. I just think it's so cool. So what I did with this one, I also wrapped the earring, you see the dot there? That's from that earring post, um, the French wire. And I just wrapped it, and then I can put a 
I can put something through there. I made this one a little bit bigger. These are both super lightweight, so they won't need a big chain. No, that won't go through there either. Well, my plan didn't work, but anyway. So there's that one all ready for a... All ready for a... Um, chain. And I'm going to clean that up a little bit because you can't see the sparkle very well. There we go. Okay, so I'll put these up here. I mean, there's no sense for me to sell them and they fall off or something. That would be silly. So I'll just keep them and this one will hang like that. I thought they were both, both so pretty. I was so sad I didn't get the other earring. That's the only thing about these blue boxes. Boy, you can get really disappointed real quick. Hold on just a second, guys. I've had a long day, but it's been a good day. I got to see my best friend. And I got to talk to my other best friend. So, yeah, it's been a good day. Okay, the first thing I'll show you that came in this blue box is this beautiful bracelet. It is the, um, oh, it's kind of an acrylic type of heavy-duty plastic. This is wood here. I'm going to put it on because I think it's just, this has got summer written all over it. It's just beautiful. Um, we're going to put $4 on that just because it's in spectacular condition. Isn't that nice? And you can see how big it was on my wrist. It's um, still got some area there, and I'll measure it for you real quick. And like I said, I don't try to be um, too, um, what do you call it, like talking about things all the time um, as far as jewelry goes, because I don't know everything. This is right at two and a half, but I like for people to know things that are neat or kind of, you know, just different. So if I tell you a story or something like that, I'm not trying to act like I know more than somebody else. I just want you guys to know, like with the Atosha, um, that was just a story I'd heard years and years ago, and it was so funny that I was so attracted to those coins. Okay, this is a magnetic heavy wire. It's really nice. And it's just got, you know, I can't tell if these are crystals or if this is just silver tone. Oh, yes, these are crystals. Hmm. Okay, this has got crystals. Needs a little clean. A little dab of alcohol wipe there. It's very nice. Like I said, it's magnetic. This probably would fit up to about a seven and a half. I don't think it'd probably fit too much bigger than that. But isn't that cute? That's really pretty. And we'll put, let's see, let's put three on that. This is dyed coral. It's a larger bronze tone. Probably a bronze wire. I'm not sure if it's copper. I don't think so. But these are interesting. Th these coral pieces are neat. Very, very cold. Um, so let's put four on that one. Then we have a beautiful clamper for the summer. Green with some crystals. Little rhinestones through here. I think they're all there. Looks like it. It's not marked, but it's very pretty. It is um, a nice size, too. This is probably, I'm going to think, two and a half also. Yep. Well, it's two and a... Right before two and a half. But we'll put three on that. Not precious. That's really nice. Okay, next, because I'm going to try to go through this quick, because I've got a lot of littles right here, and I'm going to group a bunch of stuff. Okay, this is neat. Someone wire wrapped this. This is like a terminated quartz. I don't know if this is terminated or rutilated. Um, let me look here. Sorry, you guys. Um, 
Yeah, this looks related, and it's matrix with what I think might be onyx. This needs a clean. Or whatever this black stone may be. That is really cool. Somebody did a really pretty job of wire wrapping it. Look at that. Love the swirl pattern. It's a little artistic, rough looking, but it's just beautiful. And I think it's either silver plated wire. This is what it looks like. I think it might shine up. Um, I d the stone is just gorgeous. And this wire work is great. This is the square or the flat on both sides, the square um, wire, which I love. It's really neat to work with, too. But someone did an excellent job with this. It is on nothing more than this little rope, um, the satin cord with this. It's not very long. It's not bad. It's about 17 inches, so that's not too short. So let's put five on that. That's all right with you guys. Okay, I have a beautiful stone here. It's frosty looking. It is absolutely gorgeous. If you guys don't want this, I'm going to make something out of it. Um, this is beautiful. This is like dyed agate. Um, it's faceted, jimmy looking, beautiful. It's, I first saw it and I thought it really was a necklace, you know, with a clasp. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to keep that. But I'm going to, um, give you guys a chance. It's $10. And if you guys don't take me up on it, I'm thinking maybe two, two bracelets and some earrings is what I'm thinking. So if nobody wants these beautiful stones for 10, I'll probably be using them. They're like ice cubes. They're gorgeous. Okay, next we have a really nice piece. And I'm just, like I said, really thrilled with this box. And the next five I get might not be worth a hooey, but hey. Okay, this has got a peacock-colored painted plastic piece here. Very neat. And beautiful little crystal beads. This is very nice. This has a magnet, very nice magnet. Wee. Um, I just think it's nice. Um, I had a friend that had, um, I saw her today and she had a, like a little diamond cluster pendant and she had it on a beaded necklace, like a seed bead necklace. And it was really interesting. I liked the way it looked. It looked really neat. Um, like she didn't have it on a chain. She actually had it on a sea bead necklace in a white to kind of go with the, the little stones. This is three. This is so cute. Oh, it is seven and let's see. This is about 15 and a half. And oh, this is so cool. You guys, this is freaking cool. <gasps> this is a glass art artist, artist gl blown glass, crackle glass. And it is kind of glued to this. But it is just so cool. And it's on a very vintage chain. The chain's not in real good condition, but I think it's so neat. So this is absolutely, I don't know, it's just cool. So let me see how that glue looks. Oh, that's not too bad, really. Okay, let's put, since this is vintage, let's put four on it. I like that, but I thought it was cool. Next we have, you know, there weren't a lot of marked pieces or anything, but 
that's cool. That's good with me because that way I can kind of offer things um, a little less expensive. This is a longer necklace. This actually does have, see, I shouldn't have said that. I think this is, let's see here. SAQ. SAQ. I don't know who that is. SAQ with a little teeny tiny tag. Um, I know what SAL is. SAQ. You guys, I'm stumped. SAQ. It's got to be a um, store or something. Like AEO. But anyway, this is beautiful. This is lightweight. It's got the different um, strands. Let's put this under. This is just so pretty. We got these here. Come on, guys. Get it together. Oh, I remember this because it was all, yeah, boobled. Boobled. Okay. Isn't this cute? Like this. Okay, so you've got a super long necklace with all these different stations and doodads. This is really pretty. And it is lightweight. It would be very, very easy to wear. This is approximately 22 inches here. Then you go probably 22 to, three, two, four, to about 30. But all the beads are nice. They're just plastic. They're not anything. I think there's some that are glass. But let's put five on this one. I like that. Okay, we have a torque or a collar. And it's kind of cool. I kind of like it. Let's see. Okay, got to bend it. No, it's going to cut off my cardioid arteries. I can't put it on. This is for someone very small. <laughs> it would not be for me because I wouldn't be alive if I wore it. This is made in India. So I'll put this over to the side. If anyone's interested in this for something, let me know. This would be a freebie and it's heavy. So if anybody wants it for free, <laughs> let me know. I never even thought to put it on to see if it fits. Sorry, guys. Anyway, it's kind of pretty. This is neat. This is like acrylic. This is almost like, oh, what's it called? Thermoset. You know how, how thermoset is used inside of like metal pieces to make, you know, the white and the different colors. So you would have like a piece set down in, and this would be the shiny part, the clear part. Um, this feels like thermoset. This is so neat. This is an older piece, I think. We've got this weird clasp here, but it's neat because it's got like um, seed beads, and the same beads that are here are down through this. So it's hard to tell whether this is like old or new, but I don't, I think it's older. I really do. These beads, you know, I've done a lot of bead shopping in my life. I have never seen these. Can you see those? <laughs> those are so cool. They're almost like those, back in the day we used to get these round ice cubes that used to have like a dip and a circle through them. That's what these are like. Yeah, these are like those round ice cubes. But this thing is, I don't even know how to explain it. This thing is just too neat. It is lightweight. This thing would be beautiful for the summer. Get a tan, put on a sundress, put this on. Um, I'm going to put $10 on this. It is just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. It's about 16 inches. So that was just one of the most interesting pieces that was in this whole group. But it does. It feels like thermoset. And I think if you guys know what thermoset is, you know what I'm talking about. And that's what it feels like. I mean, it's just too different of a feel to be 
just plain plastic or resin. It's very, very nice. Okay. Love it. Okay, next we have what I do believe is real turquoise. Okay. In through here. These chips right here, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they're not cold because they're coated. But this is cold. So it could be dyed halite. As far as I can tell, these are kind of cool. But we can call this dyed stone. And I don't think it's too fakey because it's, it's older. Um... And it's got this wire hook here. Isn't that pretty? This is approximately probably 20, no, 18 inches. This is a nice summer piece. Since I can't tell if it's real or not, you know what I mean? Except for these pieces here. And those definitely could be halite. Very pretty. I'm gonna put eight on this one. It's just beautiful. And if nothing else, I'll just stick it with all my little turquoise pieces I have. Okay, here is a few, let's see. No, this didn't have a tag either, but this thing was so tangled. I was like, if I ever get it untangled, I will definitely be happy. But this is really pretty. The pendant has kind of a greenish blue AB stones on it some green ones right around the center you can see a little bit of pink in those ab stones and a really pretty little yellow cabochon in the center I'll show it to you so you can see it well it has just a plain jane triple strand through here i think we gotta just one of them needs to be twisted and that's tangled, but I can get that undone. So we'll put, this is really pretty. Look at the back. The back is really well done. Let me check for a mark. I don't think there is one on this one. Now nope, there's a star in the center in the back, but nope, I don't see anything. So let's put four on this. I think that's really sweet. And I think that this would look good on a cord myself. I know some people don't like cords, but I don't care for this. Or you could put it on a gunmetal chain or something, something similar. But that's beautiful. Okay, we've got some groupings over here. I have a couple rings, and this one I'm not going to sell. It's just icky, but I wanted to show it to you. It's got a tiger's eye in it, and it's Icky. Ugh, pooey. So, I'll set that over to the side. This one's really pretty. I think this one was... I'm pretty sure it's rhodium plated and maybe silver plated. You know what I mean? It's got a coating on it. But it is... Um, it does have open work here. There are no marks. It's interesting because the back here is flat. I thought that was cool. It's a beautiful stone. Look at that. And it's not sterling that I can tell. I really didn't test it, but I'm not going to. Um, there's no obvious signs of any type of marks on it. So this is right at a six and a half. I'll show it to the sides on it. The shank and the every it's just really, really nice. How it sits up like that. So this is a six and a half, and we'll put four dollars on it because it's not, like I said, it's not precious metal. Okay, we've got just a, a cute little costume ring here. This is a size. Come on, where are you? Nine and a half. Yes. And it's nothing more than just a little band. And all the stones are there. And it's not, you know, anything fancy. 
Let me put it on my, I think it'll fit me. Yeah, it'll fit my thumb. So it's really pretty. So it's nine and a half and we'll put, what, $3 on it. It's pretty cool. So we got that one. And then this one, I'll just throw in with that one. And it is a eight and a half. I'll show it to you. It's kind of got ribbed. Yeah, it's ribbed around there. And then it's really just got a little thin band of little crystals. So this one and this one will go together. Just something. Those are cute. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I forgot to delete some of my storage, which happens too often. I'll have to start checking that more. What we're going to do is figure out a way to bundle some things for everybody. I've got some earrings here. They're really, really cute. These are not sterling. These are just nice little kind of gold tone earrings. They're little danglers. So what I'm going to do, dangle, dangles, dangles, see if there's any more similars. Okay, yes, there is. Okay, here are these, just little bunch of hooks there. Okay, and then... We have these little teddy bears. I don't think these are sterling myself. I'm not sure. Nope, look. So we have this pair, this pair. There's some little bears here. Real cute, where's the other one? I can't find it, there it is. These little bears, they're cute. And, hmm, okay, here's some little black, older black studs, and they could be something, I don't know. They're not cold, they're just little plastic studs there, so that's one, two, three, four pair here. And we'll do two dollars for those. Set this over there. Here's some just silver tone bead. Um, I don't like those. Those don't look good. Okay, those look good. These look worn. I don't know if that's where. Let me look at these with the loop. Hold on, guys. I can't tell. They're both exactly the same. Well, I'll put these two together, and remember, I looked at these to make sure they weren't corroded or coming, you know, the metal coming off, but they're not. They both look the same. Okay, we've got those. About that size. Then we've got these little flowers. They look like little gold roses. And they've got their bags. And then we could pair with those, these little hoops, the little crystals, the silver tone hoops. So we'll do these for three dollars. Okay, we've got a little as a little girl, I love these. Isn't that pretty? Little butterfly for a child or even an adult. They have the um what do you call it? It's adjustable. It's right at a size seven now. And I think it's between a 
six and a seven, and I think you could go up to about a seven and a half, or down a little bit. Oh, these, this is just too cute. Isn't that pretty? So I'll put $2 on that. And that's the back. It doesn't look bad. Show you the back. There we go. Okay, so let's put... These look like door knockers. I don't think they're marked. No. Let's see. Mark on these. These are nice. Nice gold tone. No wear at all. So there are those. Let's see. Let's do those and let's do this scarf clip. Isn't that pretty? So we'll do this um, cloisonne look. It feels like it because you can feel the raised parts. Um, cloisonne leaf scarf clip. Really good gold tone. Look at the back. It's really nice. So this little set right here, we did three dollars on that. Okay, some of this stuff I'm just I just have laying out, but there's no pairs for them, so I'm not gonna. Uh, we got a pink flamingo, but there's only one. Not awful. I hate that. So I'll set that up there. Okay, we've got some kind of unusual looking clips. With a little um, cabochon. It's like a purple. It's not really a cat's eye. No. It's just kind of a cabochon with almost a reflective coating on the back. Nice purple color. Really not in bad shape at all. These are both nice. Very interesting. So there are those two. They look like a Germany piece, but they're not marked, so I can't say that. Let's see. Let's do this. Um, I don't see any more fairs. I have so many singles here that I can throw into my little single batch. Um, I think that's a pin. I'm going to do those two. Oh, here. These are cute. Let's do these. These are really cute. These are tiny little post enamel, creamy white enamel with gold tone, very nice gold tone. So I'll do up and down. That one's up too, that one's down. So we'll do this pair here, a little vintage pair for three. Two, there's two pairs for $3 there, the purple and the Next, we've got a vintage pin. I think this is pretty old. Not pretty. Just a rhinestone, probably from the late 70s, early 80s. I'll show you the back. Then we have this darling micro mosaic ring. Very unusual. This is adjustable and it's kind of adjusted big. It is a size eh, six and a half to six and three quarters is probably about as big as it's going to get. I'll show you the back. But this thing is fabulous. Show it to you up close. Not pretty. So, I think with this being so unusual and vintage, I think I'll put 10 on this set here. Really pretty. Okay, next we have a couple pendants that I'm going to just put together. Oh, I've got some more earrings. I'm so sorry. We have the mermaid, oh, what's it called? Mermaid bead? Um, beautiful frosted glass. There's two pair here. 
This is very popular right now. We have the beads and then we have the hearts. Both of them have lever backs. Aren't those darling? They're like a moon glow, but they call it mermaid something right now. Just darling. So I'm gonna put six on these two. Very, very pretty. The lever backs are in excellent condition. Very, very pretty. Put those there. And we have a beautiful pair here. These are really, really neat. You have like the flower here. And these bead caps are gorgeous. Isn't that nice? And you've got the little knots. These are really pretty. I don't know why there's no markings on it because they are cool. I was thinking maybe 1928 because they're trying to look vintage, but I don't think they are. So let's look here real quick. Ouch. Hurt. Okay. Now, I don't see anything on these. But these are nice. So I'm going to put four on these. These are really, really, you know, they feel good. They feel like they're well made. I love the way the beads caps come down, and I like the way these little gilded um, stations are right there. Yeah, those are nice. 